Hey, welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today we're going to talk about something that's very powerful and it can be a little bit intimidating, and that's the level of detail functions. In particular, we're going to be focused on fixed today. Now, for me, this was pretty intimidating when I was learning it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and show a couple different videos with a couple different scenarios to allow you to get a feel for how this application, how this function works, and how you can apply it to your project. So for today's project, this is the San Francisco Police Department data. We have our districts along the side here. We have the first or the minimum date of, of an incident occurring. And then we have the maximum or the latest incident date. Then we have the difference of the two. I'm going to show you that here real just a second. Go to the lower left hand corner. We're going to look at the date delta. This is where you're just taking the difference, date difference of days between the first incident date and the last incident date. Okay. Then the number of records, we're just the summing of the number of records. You can see that when you're looking down here in the measure values. And then the daily value is another function. It's an aggregate function. We're just taking the total number of records and dividing by that uh, the number of days, the difference in days. And I could have put the field in here. Can't remember why I didn't do that. But there you go. Right. So something important to note here is the minimum date. I'm going to just looking at the maximum date, but the same concept is. We're taking the date and we're just looking for the maximum, okay? And so that's how we're coming up with the maximum date. And that's going to be important because when we go to the next tab, we're going to start talking about fixed functions. This is the information that we just saw, 2,952,410, come over here, 2,952,410. Okay, so the data is the same. We've got the daily average, but let's see what happens if we, instead of wanting all the incident, the average incidents, what if we just want to see what the daily rate is for 2018? Okay, so we got some different numbers here. So that's interesting, but I want to compare that to what has happened over time. So I get a feel for if this year is particularly good or particularly bad. Maybe you're a politician and you want to point to something that you've done and say, hey, we are now below the five-year average, 10-year average, whatever. And that's what we're going to try and show you how here today. Now, two key things I want to point out is fixed. The fixed function happens before the filters, the worksheet filters. Okay, that'll be important. I'll point that out. The other thing that we're going to show you is the syntax. Is you're going to have a curly bracket fixed, the field, a field, a colon, an aggregate function. I've got some in there, but you could have count, you could have average, min, max, whatever. Another, the field that you want the calculation to be performed on. And then you close it out with a, a squiggly bracket again. The key thing to remember, and it's what always gets me tripped up, is that first field after the fixed that is the only field that Tableau is going to recognize when we um, when it does calculations. We're now going to create, we're basically going to create all five of these fields again using that fixed function. And I'll go through it just so you get that kind of repetition. So I'm going to start with mix, uh, the minimum date. All right, so here we go fixed police district because I want to know what the difference is in average incident rates by police district. So this is the only item that I want Tableau to recognize. And then I'm going to go the minimum date. Uh, this has to be an aggregate function. So you could have the average of the dates, the sum of the dates. But since we're looking for the first incident, I'm going to put down the minimum date. And then if you remember in the minimum, in the regular minimum date function, 
it was min and date. And so now we need to have the min here as well. Okay, click OK. And I'm going to bring that up to the rows. And you can see already that even though over to the right you can see I have 2018 selected, the fixed function says ignore that. I am only going to look at the first, uh, I'm going to look at the first one for each police district. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for max. Same concept, looking at, we're going to fix it, only respecting the police district field. We want an aggregate function on date, and we need to have the max function here. Now when we pull this up, this should be the same, because it's the last incident date. Because we weren't filtering. Now it would be different, let's filter out just 2017 for example. And you can see it would be different. So you've got these first two columns are 2017, 2017, and the fixed dates are 2012 and 2018. Okay? So they, it's ignoring what in the filter column this years. It's ignoring that date function. All right, so let's go back to 2018. Now we're going to do the data delta. Come back over to the left hand side. Go down under measures. Date delta fixed. We're going to edit that. We've got that same function. We're looking for the difference in days between this field, the fixed date, I mean minimum date fixed, that's got the fixed function, and the maximum date with the fixed function. Okay. That, that part's pretty straightforward. And we're going to put that down here under the measures. And now you can see we're back to that 2000. Now we're going to go to the number of records for fixed. I think I called it incident count. Okay, here we go again. We're looking for the total number of records, but we're going to ignore all the other criteria or filters except for police district. So click OK, and we're going to bring that over. And finally, what we were ultimately looking for, it's a little bit long, I apologize. Make it a little bit wider. We're looking for the sum of the incident count, the fixed. So this is looking for all the time frames. We just looked at that formula. And then we're looking at, again, the difference in days between the first fixed date and the maximum or the last fixed date. And again, I could have put the field in here, um, but I didn't. And so now we'll bring that down. And so now, if you remember, these are the values that we had on that first screen. I'm going to go back. 2,000, 952, 410. 2,000, 410. That's what we want. We want to be able to show the, the average daily incident count across all the time frames. And I'm going to show you real quick here. This is what you could end up doing with it. The information by the bar is for the selected time period. The orange dot is for the entire time period. Let me show you one more thing. This is the incidents by um, day of the week. This is the information we were using before, 348. The point I want to bring up is when you look over here at the fixed columns, the items that use the fixed function, it's the same value all the way down. Remember that the fixed function only recognizes that first field. Okay, It doesn't recognize this day of the week. It only recognizes the police district. So if police district isn't on there, it's going to be the same value all the way down. Now, uh, one thing I left off is you can add multiple fields after fixed with just using a comma. So there you go. That's how you get, that's how you can look at 
how your current for the selected time period versus the historic time period. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Uh, we've had a bunch of people subscribe lately. If you're a new subscriber, please leave a comment of something you'd like to see. These videos are made to help you, and so we really like to get some of your feedback. Thanks again for watching, and be looking for other similar videos coming soon.